Hi everyone, welcome back to Fortnite Hub. In this video, you're looking at more Fortnite Chapter 3 updates coming to you very, very soon. A lot of this stuff is going to come with the Christmas updates that we should be expecting to see, of course, very soon with Winterfest, where we've gone over a bunch of leaks and information regarding what to expect for this upcoming Christmas season. With that said, let's go further and have a look at what Hypex has been tweeting lately about upcoming loot sources. We have a bad holiday gift box. Now I wonder what that is actually going to be. Is that going to be like a chest maybe that's sort of Winterfest themed and maybe it's going to have some sort of Winterfest themed items in it. I know we're going to be seeing some new items very soon which we're going to be going over in this video. Very interesting and uh, I'm excited. Then we also have the Sergeant Winter Vehicle gifts and weapons. Now I do know or I don't know sorry what a winter vehicle will be. Will that be a Christmas themed ATK or a car or what? What is that going to be right and what weapons could we see from Sergeant Winter? Well I will be letting you know what we can expect when that is leaked, when that is revealed etc. Then we have the butter cake bush, a butter cake berry item. Now this itself I'm kind of confused about because my understanding is that butter cake is the code name if you like for the dinosaur that we are all so much looking forward to. So I do wonder what that means, but if we have a look at the next one being butter cake elimination rare meat that gives 50 HP, that means that we will be able to kill the dinosaurs maybe for 50 HP, which definitely a weird one. I do wonder how much, for example, health the dinosaurs will have. Does that mean that they're actually going to be able to be rideable or are they gonna be like a shark where you can fight it or ride it? I'm interested to see how this goes. Personally, I really hope that we will be able to ride a friendly dinosaur. I think that would be amazing for Christmas time, especially with all the young'uns getting on Fortnite. That is, of course, one of Fortnite's largest player bases, and I think that it would be great if you are able to, of course, ride dinosaurs whilst flying around in a storm wing and a chopper in Fortnite. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, then you haven't seen the most recent videos on this channel, which I would recommend you do so. Then we have a look at the IO stuff. Now, we have, of course, spoken about the IO I think in one of the previous videos that I posted today going over exactly which locations you will be able to find the IO locations at. So we have here IO Brute Boss. Now this will gift, if you kill it at least, you'll get a mythic SMG. So again we have more spray weapons that are going to be bringing into the game it's going to be amazing and great to see love to see it it really is the spray meta but then actually in fitness after that we have the io combat team and that's going to have a mythic shotgun and smg i wonder if this shotgun is not going to feel like a pillow launcher because honestly i mean look at this clip for example it, like shotguns should not be doing 800 close range like this yeah, I just, I, I can't, I, I don't know how this is happening. My SMG did more damage at further range. Anyway, moving forward from that, before I lose my mind, we then had the IO field team as well, which is also dropping an SMG. Now, if you want to know more about the SMG statistics, well, thankfully, Hypex has put out this image right here where we can see what seems to be new IO guards for one. I've never seen these guards before, but then we can see the statistics and the details for these SMGs. So we see here the rarity is mythic and the class itself is an SMG of course, ammo type is light. Then for DPS we have 288. For the damage we have 24. For the fire rate we have 12. A magazine size of 30. A reload time of 2 seconds and a critical hit damage of 2x. This is going to be absolutely ridiculous. I'm not sure how you all feel about it, but the Stinger is definitely one of the most powerful weapons in the game alongside, of course, the MK7. Seeing it's going to be getting a mythic version kind of makes me want to cry, but we'll see how it goes. Let's have a look. I mean, in fairness, that is how casuals do enjoy the game. I suppose you've got to have these sort of overpowered weapons in order for it to be sustainable for casual players. I do get it, and by those means, I'm okay with it. And then if we have a look at the next tweet from Hypex, we see there's only going to be one Mythic on the map and one Mythic Shotgun. The rest of the IO guards carry a blue SMG. The Mythic Shotgun stats are already in game, and they'll post them later. And then we have more from Hypex. Upcoming pizza party heal item. Max stack is one. It has eight slices. Consume time is one and a half seconds. Heal shield amount is 25 per slice. 
heal cap is 100 and shield cap is 50. This, in my opinion, is going to be quite an important item. I think it's going to be a good item, especially if it gives you both shield and heal. Obviously, the cap on shield is, you know, is a cap. It is a cap at the end of the day. It's basically what you would see from the mini potions but i do think that honestly it's a good trade-off and then we can also see can be thrown at friends and enemies to heal them so that's quite an interesting one that basically has the properties of a chug splash i guess and then we have pizza slices can be found slash picked up alone in stacks of two so don't have to kill anyone for it don't have to go to a npc i'd assume i think it'll just be like either chest or ground loot and actually hypex has corrected this saying when you throw it at someone it doesn't heal them it just drops them next to use it just like throwing shields bandages etc so it's not like the truck splash in that case on a much less related note but still important i think we have the streamer ball going on from the december 15th to december 16th all eligible players in the open league will hire in arena the top 100 players at the conclusion of round one will advance to round two the top players in each region at the end of round two will be invited by twitch to complete in the streamer ball which i assume is like twitch rivals essentially then we have some more new item update news though Rare meat has been added to the game files, which again, I assume is basically coming from the dinosaur. It heals for 50 HP, 35 more than uncommon meat. It can stack up to two meat in a single inventory slot. Then we have some information from Sheena BR coming out with smart building. New information on smart building was added in version 19. It turns smart build on or off. When on, building pieces are chosen based on build mode, tower, bridge, protected ramp or box and view direction. Moving on from that, we also have some new skin set reveals going from Fortnite. The Boundless set will be available in tonight's item shop and you can have a look at the clip right here. Penultimately, iFire Monkey has just put out Fortnite upcoming item info, Shield Sprinkler, Max Stack 1, Lifespan 30 seconds, Shield per 0.4 seconds is 2, i.e. 150 shield in 30 seconds. Then we have Shield Aura, regenerate shield to you and nearby alleys over time to a cap. Shield per 1 second is 1, maximum shield it can give is 50. Now you can see what the item looks like from here and the description is regenerate shield to you and nearby alleys over time up to a cap. And here of course is a screenshot of gameplay of what this will look like. Then we have the Burst Squad Heal, heals you and nearby allies, health given is 75, cooldown is 3 minutes, drill beacon, cooldown 1 minute, radius 25,600, mark duration is 12 seconds and pulse interval is 120, quick heal, Durburger, max sack is 3, health given is 50, and you can see of course all of the information on this image right here. Moving onwards from that, we then also have Quick Heal. Max stack is 6, health given is 15, speed multiplier is 1.4x, and speed duration is 3 seconds. Again, you can see what this looks like through this image right here. And then finally, it's time to look at Hypex's tweet. The Season 6 Jump Boot Mythics have also been updated in 19, so we might see them getting added to Creative along with the Chapter 2 Mythics. So, uh... I do wonder if we're going to see this in public games, in which case we're going to see Spider-Man, we're going to be seeing Stormwings, we're going to be seeing Choppers, we're going to be seeing Mythic SMGs. It's going to be an interesting time, to say the least. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Very, very clear to me, at least, that they will be setting up Christmas for a casual-based event, which realistically, in my opinion, at least makes sense. They will not be prioritizing competitive when it comes to Christmas. That is a very clear thing to me at least. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. For everything happening in Fortnite Chapter 3, this is the place to be. Subscribe to Fortnite for everything happening. A like is always very much appreciated for all these videos. Have a great day everyone. I'll see you in the next Fortnite video.